Hey guys, welcome to Dream SMP Reloaded, subscribe if you feel like it. Enjoy. ...of Lamemberg. Just two days had passed since Tubbo had exiled Tommy from the nation. A day caught in the middle of peace and war. But what was a day in the heart Paid of promo one story is law. would be the beginning of another. As deep in the shadows, a new threat to the server had just started to grow. Oh, captain, sorry, you're right. I can't wait, there's gonna be so many names that haven't been mentioned much. <laughs> I can't wait to see how it says certain things. The egg. Bad stood in awe at what lied in front of him. He'd never seen Your anything like it before. A deep red faced the entirety of the strange object. Just thank you for gifting three cells, Mr. Kitty. I appreciate that. Feel thank you, thank you, thank you. Different. He thought about destroying the weird-looking plant, but immediately got a rush of fear at the thought of doing so. Confused and scared of his new discovery, oh, I love to see in-game chats. Oh, <laughs> is this them? Are they building the prison here? <laughs> Would you like to have a checkup on our progress tomorrow? <laughs> Think you're good you next to prayer hands. <laughs> it's just so funny that obviously, canonically, you know, it's it's one of those it's it's a wacky it's a wacky time. Doing so. It's a wacky time. They would end Confused up stuck in the prison. They help build. Goodness me. Bad fled the room, hoping to find someone else to show the mysterious object. As he returned to his and Skeppy's mansion, he found his friend and fellow member of the Badlands. Guys, you can Sam. tell me. Who was beginning you can work tell me on a when things nearby with dream quickly you can tell me what things are wrong when it happens i'm sure you're gonna tell me anyway the two to the strange red egg do you see that thing in the corner what do you think it is i have no idea but i do not like it it just looks evil i mean it's like dark I red know. And... but there's something about it it's just like it's almost like pretty yeah, though it is pretty like I was getting ready to mine like a chunk, and then oh my goodness, again that that vibe coming off of it. What do you think it is? I don't know. Should we break it? Well, he's no, stomping don't all break over it. The egg. I don't want it broken. I like it. It does have like a very, very dark vibe though. Like, does it kind of look like an egg to you, Dream? It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> it's kind of creeping me out. You're telling me you didn't build this? No, I found it. And it's mine now. You know what? Sorry. Actually, when I originally found it, this was not here. These little tendril thingies. It's expanding? Yeah. That's kind of weird. It's <laughs> mine. Yeah. I actually love Bad Boys. What's comfortable about it? This isn't supposed to happen in the game. I mean, like, I've never seen this mm. thing before. Get, get out. If you don't like it, well, I want you well, looking we'll, at we it. We might as well leave. Yeah, yeah um, I guess we'll, we'll leave you to it. As the three left the room and made their way down Prime Path, Sam noticed something growing on the side of the socializing club. A deep red vine gripped the side of the building. Bad jumped with joy at the side of the vine while Sam and Dream questioned how it got there in the first place. At Bad's request, they decided to leave the vine alone and continued down the path. As they reached Bad's mansion, another red vine sprouted from the pond outside. This was not a coincidence. Just minutes <laughs> ago, the group stood in that very spot my tuna, and no vines the two covered the wall. But suddenly, out of absolutely nowhere, they appeared. <gasps> and Bad would not let anyone dun, 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 close to them. Dun, dun. Having had enough <laughs> of the new danger. discovery and Bad's strange behavior, Dream and Sam decided <sighs> to continue work on the prison. But Bad couldn't seem to shake his new friend. Slowly, the vines crept across the path outside the mansion and onto the other walls. New growth was discovered Ooh, on Tommy's tower and throughout the rest of the day, Bad brought more and more people to see the mysterious egg. Most felt very uneasy in its presence, the bits. some even suggesting they tear it down. But others were drawn to it, unable to avert their gaze from its majestic red figure. Over the following days, new vines appeared and spread across the server. Whoa. No one was safe from the reach of the egg. Bad and Ant Frost, seeking to please the egg, planted seeds all around the server, hoping to spread its influence as quickly as possible. Oh boy. Before long, Bad and Ant had gotten Captain Puffy on their side, and together, 
the three vowed to protect the egg and continue to plant new vines around the SMP. However, nearly everyone else grew to dislike the red vines, which continued <laughs> to spread like weeds across just, everyone's covering the land. entire SMP. <laughs> and on Hold December 9th, Sapnap so and Sam had had enough of Ghost B5 has just donated one dollar. Oh man I love Egglore, and that first stream was so cool. They'd run around as a group and every time they went back to an area a new vine had grown. But they were always together so who put it there? It was amazing I miss Egglore. That's sick. That's very cool. The egg's relentless spread and decided to attack it. After making their way down Prime Path past the overgrowth of red vines, Sam and Sapnap entered the egg room. This time, the vines covered nearly a third Penipia of the room, has just and standing at the center of it all Penipia, was Bat, the one. who seemed to be talking to the egg. Sam and Sapnap made their way closer, stating that the egg had done enough and it was time for it to be destroyed. But Bad could never let that happen. Before long, Sapnap drew his sword and began to attack, driving Bad away from the egg just long enough for Sapnap to ignite TNT and... Sapnap has just subscribed. Oh no. Quickly, Sapnap fled the scene while Bad Sam started shot at his Sam beloved and Sapnap. <laughs> this was too far. Later that day, Bad brought Puffy to the egg to show her what had happened. Since the explosion, the egg had healed, but it remained very angry at what Sapnap had done. And so, Bad and Puffy knew they had to do something to protect Well, them. the egg needs to understand that Sapnap is simply just a salmon, so... How could he have known that it would cause upset, you know? Sure, it's fine. And together, the two encased the egg in an obsidian shell with the hopes of it being safe forever. But Before it we dive out even deeper into the story of the egg... No, 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 Skeppy and Bad were best friends, since Skeppy joined the two hey, the had brand always not paying me. by each other's side. Through wars, conflicts, and explosions, I'm their friendship stood unbroken the next bag, to but the unending ain't paying me. chaos around them. <laughs> but something changed the day Bad found that egg. Skeppy found himself alone in the mansion built for two. And in the few times Bad did come by to see Skeppy, he only talked about the egg. How he was angry at Skeppy's wishes to break the vines at their house and how great of a friend it was. Skeppy wow. felt Bad beginning to slip away. All the adventures they had, all the memories they made You're slipping so from Bad's generous. mind in favor of his new. Pisces of Riley has just donated eleven dollars and thirty four cents. It's one Thank in you the very morning, much. but the egg law always has me hooked. Let's go, egg law. Thank you so much for the eleven dollars. You didn't have to donate that much. Thank you. Best friend. Skeppy hated the egg. All he wanted was for Bad to be there, but in its presence, it seemed even that was too much to ask. And so, when he noticed Bad destroying the very vines that drove their friendship apart, he began to have hope once again. Bad, Puffy, and Ant realized that since they covered the egg with obsidian, the vines ceased to grow and their obsession with the egg had began to fade away. When I said obsidian, I can As this obsession faded, the three realized they didn't actually like the ugly vines and decided to destroy them. Oh my. Skeppy suggested that they break the egg as well, but something inside the three still immediately <laughs> opposed the idea. Instead, no. they all decided to visit the egg to try to understand what was happening. Skeppy had never actually seen the egg, so when he entered the room to a giant obsidian oval, he was a bit underwhelmed. <laughs> Curious to see what this amazing egg was, Skeppy broke a single piece of obsidian to get a peek. Immediately, his friends froze where they stood, silent. Looking at Skeppy, Bad told him that he needed to leave, as just him being there was a risk to the egg's safety. Skeppy was shocked. Just moments ago, his friends were back. But now, it seemed all progress had been lost. Bad the head and guess. Puffy had forgotten why they covered the egg in obsidian and destroyed the shell, keeping it in. Skeppy knew oh no. what he had to do. Oh Hiding no. in a pocket in the vines, Skeppy You're convinced his friends that he was learning up. to love the egg. Pisces of really Excited about subscribed. his efforts, the three decided it would be one, good for him to stay there for a while and left him alone. A few minutes later, Bad felt something off. Immediately, he led Puffy and Ant back to the egg to make sure nothing had happened to it. 
as they entered the room, the egg was- Wait, I didn't even realize that I joined the server on the 16th. That's so funny. The 16th lives on! <laughs> ...was once again covered in obsidian, and Skeppy was nowhere to be seen. Quickly, Bad realized that I not was the only had Skeppy event. covered the egg once again, Yay! but trapped himself <laughs> inside, alone with the very monster that consumed the rest of their minds. He knew they had to find a way to save Skeppy, but they also knew that destroying even a single block of obsidian would expose them all again. Bad reason that the egg was poisoning their minds, and before they destroyed any obsidian, they needed to figure out what it was. As they removed vines around the server, Bad theorized that the people who liked the egg the most were those who spent the most time in the room with it. They all worried for Skeppy even more, as every second he spent down there was another part of him lost to the egg. The sun set and night fell. Skeppy sat alone, trapped with the very evil he seeked to destroy. The next morning, Bad logged on and rushed down to the egg. He planned to break just enough blocks for Skeppy to get out, immediately placing them back before being exposed again. And as he made his way to the room, he noticed that a few of the obsidian blocks surrounding the egg looked to be corroding. But there was no time to worry about that. He had to save Skeppy. Yeah, I'm all here and for like, so the horror lore. He got into position. Here we go, Skeppy. Are you ready? I'm going, Skeppy. I'm going. Oh! Hurry, Skeppy, come out, come out, come out, come out! Okay, okay, good. Oh my goodness, good. Wait, what? Skeppy, what? What happened to you? Oh my god, he's red. Hello. Skeppy, are, are you feeling okay? I feel amazing. Ooh. Skeppy, you're red. I feel great. Are you sure? Wow, the lightning strike is great. Hey, do you need some food? No. I mean, I'm I'm glad you feel good, Skeppy, but why are you red? I spent my time with the egg. You were blue yesterday, Skeppy, don't you remember? I remember everything. Wait, 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 where are you going? I want to go in the egg. No, 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 you, no, 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 you don't need to go over here. Here, let, let's follow me, Skeppy. Oh, I'll boy. take you somewhere else. Up Skippy, to the surface, be careful. the sky. You like the sky, right? Sky? Yeah, the sky. You know, the sky. The lightning strikes Come are on. very ominous. Maybe if we get you some fresh air, that'll help. Skeppy had changed. Bad's best friend, the Skeppy who stood by his side all that time, was gone. And in his place stood a shell of a person. Skeppy no longer cared about anyone or anything except the egg. He tried everything to go back inside. No matter what Bad said or did, Skeppy didn't care. He moved out of the mansion, the very place that stood as a symbol of their friendship. Bad mourned the loss of his friend. He tried everything to turn him back to how he was before, but nothing seemed to work. Puffy suggested taking one of his lives, but Bad oh. refused. Oh my goodness. He could never hurt Skeppy. Okay, Puffy. He would rather do anything. And not knowing what to do, he turned his efforts to the egg, the source of all their problems. Following the egg's display of its true power, everyone agreed to keep the egg quarantined to prevent any future incidents while they studied it. First, all discovered blood vines across the server were cleared, except for one on Punza's tower. This way, they could make sure the obsidian still prevented the growth of the vines. Second, they needed to buy time as the layer of obsidian surrounding the egg began to dissolve. To fix this problem, Bad and Ant surrounded the egg with a second layer of obsidian to make sure there would not be any breaches. They also created Smart. a decontamination chamber at the entrance of the room as another precautionary measure. Finally, because of the egg's strange effect on Skeppy, Bad and Ant decided to run an experiment by trapping different colored wool with the egg to see what would happen. This is as cool. the days passed, the studying continued. The vine on Punza's tower ceased to grow, meaning the obsidian was still working. The second layer of obsidian also began to dissolve, and the wool experiment had some strange results. As the final test, Bad and Punz decided to tear down the obsidian shell while wearing protective gear to keep themselves safe from the egg's influence. <laughs> Once the obsidian was gone, they noticed that the egg had grown much larger, having absorbed the first layer of obsidian completely. Oh no. 
This was concerning, but they figured the decontamination chamber would keep the egg out while also preventing the vines from growing. A few days later, Bat and Puffy returned to see that the vines had completely taken oh over the room. Oh my goodness. Vines reached down from the ceiling and flowers bloomed from the reddened ground. They started to like the look of the room, but then realizing they were being influenced immediately, left. Skeppy had gotten worse. His red color became more intense <laughs> and his love for the counting. egg radiated with every word. There was no turning him back. Ant explained that the only way to save Skeppy was to take one of his lives to break his connection with the egg. Oh my goodness. But Thad once again refused to let anything happen to him. He stated he would rather sacrifice everyone on the server than kill Skeppy. And Jeez. questioned if Bad was infected as well due to his irrational thoughts. But Bad showed Remind no me not to make any best friends on the server. Infection. Days passed and not much progress was being made. The egg continued to push back on being contained. Skeppy remained infected and they still had no idea what the egg even was. And so, Ant, Bad, and Puffy agreed to hold a meeting on January 14th to discuss what to do about the egg. January 14th. The dust settled on a ruined Lamanberg. It had been barely a week since TNT rained from the skies above, and today, the fate of the egg would be decided. The four logged on and one by one, they arrived at the table for the meeting. I think we all know why we're here, don't we? As I'm sure you guys are aware of, the egg is becoming a problem. So I have a proposal for you two. Why don't you join the Badlands? What What is it all for us? <laughs> Everything. The Badlands currently is made up of myself, Amp Frost, Skeppy, and Dawson Dude. The reason why we created the Badlands faction was to protect ourselves from the chaos that was plaguing the Dream SMP. Look at where that's gotten us today, okay? I don't think it's gonna work with just us four. I think we need stronger people, but I don't think we should stop there. I think I have a long-term play. I think if we release the egg, let it oh. wipe out all of this side of the Dream SMP, let it spread, let it wreak havoc across it. While we discover a counter to it, right? We can secure our hold on our territory, then come in and once we've figured out a solution, clear the egg, clear the vines, get rid of <laughs> it, Frost. and we can take over My Aunt the entire Frost. Dream SMP. We can go from being just one territory to becoming an entire and That's a little worrying. I think you turned into a tyrant, bad. Yep. I don't want to take over the whole server. I want all Wait, of us Puffy's to skin? take over the whole server. If we do this, Puffy, if we do this just right, we can come together, <laughs> form a, a unified government where all of us have equal say, a round table, as it will, where we all have equal say over how we go about things. None of this president's <laughs> nonsense. You know what? I don't know if this is the egg talking or myself, but I'm craving some chaos. This idea you have, it's speaking to me. I don't know, and I don't know if it's you or the egg or, or what's happening, but mm -hmm. I kind of want to do it. I think I, I want to help you guys out. Puffy? I'll help you with the egg because I feel as if there's no other way, but I don't want to choose a faction because oh, no. I feel like factions have got us to this point. This is what I'm thinking. We combine your territory with the Badlands territory. Puffy, Temp Alliance with your territory? Sure. And we can create the formation of our empire. What will we call our empire? I think our unifying principle right egg now is the egg. Empire. Egg pyre, I like Egg this. Pyre. Let's go, puns. Then I hereby declare the formation of the temporary but hopefully permanent egg pyre. Are you guys ready to go release the egg? The group oh made their way to the egg. No longer would they contain the chaos. The server would once again feel the wrath of the egg, and in the wake of its destruction, the egg pyre would rule everything. The decontamination chamber was destroyed, setting free the vines that engulfed the rest of the room. Bad Ant and Pun smiled as the plan began to move forward. They imagined the chaos that would unfold and were eager for the spreading to begin. 
Throughout the rest of the day, the members of that the name? Empire planted that seeds what? all across the server to help encourage even more growth. Oh my goodness. Slowly, they all began to leave the server for the night. But Bad remained. Uh -oh. His plan had been received much better than he initially thought, and his disguise had worked even better. As Bad made his way back to the round table, he realized there was no point in hiding it anymore. Propaganda coated the walls of every building. Vines spread like weeds oh as far as goodness. the eye could see. The chaos was beginning. And with the spreading of their message, the Eggpire seek to recruit more allies to help them remain in control. <laughs> First, Bad and Ant discussed getting Eret on their side because of the power and influence he held as king. Next, they needed to convince Sam to join the Eggpire in their quest for chaos. But this was much easier said than done. Since day one, Sam had a bitter hatred for the egg and would not take it well when he found out his equals in the Badlands went behind his back. Uh oh. And as they expected, Sam was furious at what they intended to do, refusing to join their cause. He had just locked Dream away in prison to stop chaos and was not about to join some cult to spread more. But Bad and Ant had a plan to make him like the egg. A few days later, Bat and Ant attempted to expose Tommy to the egg with the hopes of getting him on their side. Tommy, seeking to investigate the egg as a potential threat to the building of his hotel, asked uh -oh. Ant and Bad to lead the way. And as they approached the core, Tommy felt something strange. Tommy felt an uncontrollable urge to swear. Literally, that's it. The egg is saying that all three of us should start swearing. The egg has told me to start swearing and that you need to swear next. Tommy didn't seem to be affected by the egg, <laughs> and in the eyes of the egg pyre, that made him the most dangerous person to their cause. Bad and Ant quickly decided that they needed to get rid of Tommy. I'll be honest, I didn't realize so many people were involved in egg stuff. So it's cool to see so many people like were actually involved in it in some way. It's pretty sick. Was unable to be controlled by the egg. Later that day, the egg pyre gathered for another meeting this time to convince Sam permanently. Already have you guys seen what's happened, okay? Dream is in jail. The server is devolving into chaos. Factions forming everywhere you look. This is a problem. We need a uniting force. We need something that everybody we can, can agree is, this is, is definitely a bad such a cool, thing like, to bring everybody together. This People is such a cool lore idea. I like this a lot. Bad. It's probably one of my favorite the bits. The egg is ultimately good. We all know that. The whole like, Anyone horror slash thriller vibe to it is super, super cool. cool. Is good. The egg is so bad. It's not. All right, hear me out. Here's the, the ultimate plan, okay? One by one, we bring people to the egg. Get them to come to our side. Get them to see things our way. Let the egg spread its influence. Let the vines cover the SMP. When the vines have officially and effectively covered everything, that is when we come out. That is when we resolve the problem. We come in, boom, you're heroes. Wow. And that's the point. It's just we're all going to do it under the guidance and wisdom of the A. Mm -hmm. You understand? No, I don't understand. <laughs> <sighs> Sam, I'm trying to get through. I, okay? I loathe really am. the egg. The egg is awful. I don't care I, what you say. I know. This I is know. not a good thing. The egg pyre is not a good thing. This was a bad idea from the beginning. It's still a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so let me let me make this clear. You're in no circumstances the willing to back acts. down on this issue. <laughs> no, no, we should. We should not be doing this. That's we should be so funny. Doing the opposite of this, actually. <sighs> All right. All right. All right. That's fine. All right. That's All right. Fine. What? <sighs> okay. Goodbye, buddy. What? Oh, oh. bad. Ba Kill Puffy. Ann. Oh my God. What? Puffy ran, uh. shocked at what she had just witnessed, and scared <laughs> for her friend that now stood deep underground in the heart of the egg. That's actually Sam very funny. Trapped. Layers of obsidian stood between him and freedom. With every breath he took, the egg seeped deeper and deeper into his mind. It was enough to break even the strongest of wills. Sam stood at the mercy of the egg for the rest of the night, alone with its raw and ruthless power. 
The next morning, Puffy noticed Tommy on her way to break Sam out and informed him of what had happened. Quickly, the two made their way to the egg and Puffy broke a hole in the obsidian for Sam to escape through. Oh no. Sam was destroyed. He was disoriented and traumatized from the torture the egg had caused him. He was starved, exhausted, and just wanted to go home. Tommy and Puffy, just wanting their friend to be okay, took him home so he could rest and recover from what happened that night. When Puffy got back, she thought about everything. She couldn't believe her friends would do such a thing. Bat and Ant had changed beyond so recognition, Ant's eyes now as red as the egg itself. She knew that if someone didn't stand up to the egg pyre, they would overrun the entire server. And the friends she once knew would be gone forever. <laughs> Quickly, a plan began to form in her head, a resistance to the unrelenting tyranny of the Egg Pyre. Because she used Adding to be cannibalism one of them, to the things that no one just surprised me about the GMSMP. And the ins and outs of their plan, making her the perfect leader of the resistance. It she twice. just needed Wait, more twice. people. Knowing of the Egg Why Pyre's plan, the Puffy also knew exactly who Bad and Ant planned to recruit next. And so, when she caught wind that Bad was bringing Technoblade to the Egg, she knew this was the perfect opportunity to get him on her side. Puffy watched from the shadows as Bad Probably and Techno the made their hot. way towards oh, okay. the end. She waited well. patiently, carefully following their every word <laughs> until Bad began to take things too far and she had to step in. Puffy explained Bad's true intentions, the Egg Pyre, their plans of unopposed control, everything. And Techno, knowing he could never side with an empire, sought to tear it down alongside the resistance. Rambu also decided to join after almost getting trapped with the egg at the hands of Bad. This was a good start, but Puffy knew it would take more than three people to take down the egg pyre. But lucky for them, she had a few people in mind. Having recovered from his stay with the egg and fearing its effect on the security of the prison, Sam was not exactly a fan of the egg pyre. And so, when Puffy informed him of what she was planning, he was more than happy to join the cause. In a land far oh, away, the inside, but rolling hills of sand painted okay, the you. landscape as the sun beaded down on the dry ground. A player stared. For months, his land lied untouched, an oasis in the heart of the sea of sand. But that day, red vines spread like a disease across his creation. Foolish was confused. He'd never seen anything like it. He removed the vines, but a few days later, they returned. He began to hear stories of an egg. Buried deep underneath Whoa, the rest foolish. of the Let's go. Stories of a mysterious <laughs> power that controlled some and drove others to hatred. But whatever it was, he knew it needed to be stopped. And so, when opportunity knocked at his door, he answered. April 12th. A large explosion Whoa. was heard across the server. Quacky Look at the animation. As fast as he can. He prayed that his plan had worked. He prayed that the TNT was enough. He was tired of this egg, its influence spreading like a weed across the server and no one there to stop it. He knew that if no one else was going to do something, he would. He didn't have time to see the damage Almost before a year ago, true. Escaped, as he was sure bad and puns were right on his trail. But he managed to get away. And even though the egg withstood the blast of TNT, his efforts caught the eyes of the resistance. Slowly but surely, the resistance was growing. They just needed an opportunity to strike, an opportunity to take down the Egg Pyre for good. March 1st. Word spreads across the server that Tommy is dead, murdered in prison at the hands of Dream. Dun, 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 dun. Everyone was devastated. Tommy, despite the chaos, was a friend to all. And it seemed a part of everyone died that day too. Everyone except the Egg Pyre. Tommy's death was exactly what they needed. Well, Tommy was immune to the the of the egg, right now, meaning okay. he could not be controlled, making him the biggest threat to their plan. But now that he was finally gone, their plan could move into its final stages. First, Bat and Ant managed to trap a new player, Hannah, in the obsidian cage above the egg. They hoped that <laughs> in her time with the egg, she would learn to love it. And once she did, they knew exactly how she could help. Following the massive explosion set off by Quackity, the room was in shambles, but the egg still stood. Bad and I can't imagine how much sure off-camera work this okay and blocked off the room to prevent any threats from entering while the egg was healing. <clears throat> this also allowed for concealment while they planned their final move. 
an event months in the making, the true beginning of the reign of the Eggpire, the Red Banquet. <sighs> in order for their true plan to work, they needed a lot of people as close to the egg as possible. And because the their reputation banquet. among the rest of the circle really cool was not that too. great, they knew that before they hosted an event as elaborate as the banquet, they needed to convince people this wasn't just another scheme. And so, it was decided. The Red Banquet would be staged as an apology. An apology for the harm the Egg Pirate caused and a vow of their goodwill to the rest of the server. But to truly sell the idea, drastic action needed to be taken. And Bad had the perfect plan. Over the next few days, the Egg Pirate removed every single vine that had grown across the server. Every trace of their mission to spread the egg gone overnight. Invitations made their way to the farthest corners of the SMP. People finally started to believe they had changed. And they They also programmed some stuff to happen automatically. Did they actually? If so, that's pretty sick. Removal of the oh, yeah, vines sad, made sad about the Pong thing. I figured Pong was also part of it since the he was involved in there and thing. His bad made his way down the, the now server, completely so. cleared path and into the banquet hall. He went through the plan one last time in his head. But then he noticed something out of the corner of his eye. His old friend, driven away those months ago by the very thing he worshipped. The only thing Bad still cared about more than the egg, Skeppy. But he wasn't Skeppy anymore. Wait, what? What, what is that? Skeppy, what are you doing? <laughs> Skeppy, why, why are you over here? I want to be next to the egg. You can excuse yourself. I've given you enough time. What do you want? I care about you, Skeppy. And I mean, look, we, we both know oh there's boy. something wrong with the egg and the egg's great and all, but you don't have to, you don't have to be buddied up with it. Then leave me alone. Oh my goodness. Let's go for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to see the, the sunlight? You like sunlight? Nothing here is new to me. I've seen all of this a million times over. Nothing you say will convince me. Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh my goodness. He's a hey Skeppy. Look, it's the statue I built of you. Remember? What's it going to take for you to stop talking to me? I'll just Damn. go and do the preparations myself. Okay, don't come back. You're really getting what? on my nerves, Skeppy. What? Why do you keep coming back? Skeppy, back? I don't like what? your behavior lately. Has been... My behavior? Skeppy, you have I... absolutely no control it's over not about any part power. of me, and everything you say is irrelevant. Oh my goodness. It's not about power. It's not about control. I'm your friend, It's about Skeppy. drive, silly. I mean, you can think that. Oh. What do you mean? Cold. Well, you can think whatever you want in your silly little mind, okay? No, it doesn't matter to me. No, we're we're friends, right? Sure, just leave me alone, Skeppy. I have done so much for you, for for our friendship, and now you're trying to tell me that we're not friends anymore. I'm not saying it. I'm proving it. You're proving it. <laughs> I literally. Hey, I no, anymore. I've had you enough. Have used your and attitude, me, and you keep. I've used and abused you, and you continue your to attitude. do so. No, because tell me I am your friend. Forth. Yeah, tell me. My best friend. My best friend hits me. Do you know the sacrifices that I have made to Sacrifice? hang out with you? And you'd you, rather, you'd you think rather you've rather stand. Any sort of contribution. No, you, you think you've done anything? I do you seriously think that the past doesn't matter. It's only about the future and the present. And right now, I know what I want. I want to go to the egg. So oh. I'm going to go. No, you're not going to the egg. I, I don't want you to stand by that egg Why? all day. That's... Are you going to Are you gonna hit me again? I'm not going to let are you, you gonna... go to it. Are you going to hit me? I just wanted us to hang out like we used to. Like, I did all this for you, and I, don't, I just didn't want the egg to take that away. Intense. Do you hear how selfish that is? You were trying S to take away... What S I enjoy and what I like selfish? for your own benefit. Did you, you did you actually how call selfish that selfish? That is of you. You don't actually selfish. care about me. Stop are hitting you, me. You how many more times are you gonna selfish? hit me? Take that back right now. They apologize. Were all selfish, and they were They're... only for your uh -oh. own benefit. It's just a stupid it's egg. Not Skeppy. a stupid egg. egg. No, Scabby, no. Bad stood in shock at what he did, destroyed by the tragedy he just caused. 
He remembered what Ant said about killing Skeppy and prayed with everything he had that maybe, oh just boy. maybe, his friend could come oh back. April 23rd, two days before the Red Banquet. The Resistance stands atop a cloud in the sky built by Foolish to discuss their plan Oh, of this is what the cloud thing is for. Sam informs the group that cool. he managed to recruit now Hannah after finding her passed out in the obsidian chamber above the egg. The group was happy to welcome another member to their side and moved forward That's with even their true. plan. Ah, well. The egg pirate had been very selective about who they sent invites to, making sure to leave out major threats such as Quackity, who nearly killed the egg, Technoblade, who clearly had no intentions of siding with them and was very powerful, and Rambu, who was caught spying on the egg with Tubbo a few days earlier. Oof. However, everyone who did get an invite decided it would be best to go to the banquet to get information <clears throat> and to seek an opportunity to attack. That being said, everyone was very wary of the Egg Pyre's intentions as they knew there was a strong chance this banquet would end with blood. Okay, but and so, this is my point. They Guys, need this is my point. So even if the information is technically wrong and techno and stuff weren't there, did people meet on the cloud? Because if so, I'm happy just to know that part of the story happened. Did a backup plan. Knowing that they would not be able to sneak armor and weapons into the celebration as they were strictly prohibited, Sam suggested planting a supply chest in the center of the room in case things went downhill. Bro, I gotta just. The group agreed, and I Puffy volunteered to sign the up chest in places as she knew the Apparently, room the everyone best. follows signs on this Sam server. Sam also informed the group that he had another plan he had been preparing, a plan that could destroy the egg for good. Finally, Quackity mentioned a secret contact he'd been talking to, a warrior long dormant on the server who was happy to join the fight if things got out of control. And with this, oh the group boy. went their separate ways, satisfied with their plans and confident that worst comes to worst, they would be ready for war. The sun cast a red shadow over the SMP as it climbed above the horizon. Deep underground, in the heart of a once innocent land, hung decorations fit for the greatest of kings. Boom, boom. Red vines reached for the ground. Chandeliers brought light to the living walls and at the center of it all, lied a table waiting to be set for the feast. The egg pyre stood in the ruins of their meeting room far above the egg, in silence. No words needed to be said. The plan had been trapped in their heads for weeks on end and everyone knew what needed to be done. Joining them was Ponk, who had always liked the egg, but after a bit of convincing took a greater liking to their plan. Hey look, Ponk's in the story now, great! lied empty, as their newest member was attending to her own part of the plan. The clock continued to tick until it we was time. Love. Punk. And as the first guests began to log on, everyone made their way to the banquet hall. Dun, 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 dun. I really appreciate you all coming again. Uh, I think this is the perfect opportunity for us as, as a server, as a community to come together and, and honestly just to let bygones mm. be mm. bygones, mm. to let any past issues, to set them aside so that we can, we can grow and advance from this point forward. Because while there have been bumps along the way in the spirit of you know moving things forward i would just like to say that i was very very happy that we were able to gather everybody here together oh. for what is i'm sure going to be oh. a banquet that none of us are ever going to forget <laughs> bad realizing just quite how slowly lava falls <laughs> uh, 
ever going to forget. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for coming, everybody. Oh. <laughs> and uh, uh, thank you. Prepare to yeah. die. What? what? Lava fell from the ceiling, blocking all escapes from the room everywhere except the egg. Months of planning led to this moment, the final sacrifice. Puffy and the rest of the resistance were furious. They trusted their friends one last time and they still betrayed them. They hoped it wouldn't come to this, but the egg pyre had to go. Puffy made her way to the center of the table, to the hidden chest of supplies. <gasps> Finally, the egg pyre would answer for their crimes. But then, what? Yes. What? Oh. 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 What? Were you looking Where? for this perchance? Oh my goodness, they found oh, the no stuff. Oh. Oh. No what? How? Hannah? <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell them. What? <gasps> you told them, Hannah? What? Why? The <gasps> egg. Hannah heard everything. Every step of their oh plan, every precaution goodness. they planned to take. Everything. A story Ever of since betrayal. Her state, the egg she was on consumed that dream by transcendent power. Stop. And Bad knew that as a new player to the server, she would be the perfect spy. The resistance was powerless. In the face of fear, they had unknowingly supplied the egg pyre with the very weapons that would cause their demise. <laughs> but Sam still had one last plan. That is tragic that you told them about our plans for the armor, but something. You should know. I had another plan because I didn't trust you. What do you mean, another plan? Well, I think that we all can agree this has gone on long oh, enough. Oh, monologue after monologue, let's I'm go! I'm tired of all this fighting. So I say we just blow the egg up Wh for good this time what? with an amount of TNT that it cannot survive. But so you I don't have trap. any. Wait. No! 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 The suit. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You really what thought this? you what? could defeat the egg with TNT? Wait, that was actually sick. After Quackity tried Wait. that, we took proper preparations Wait. and we made it. So that, that was we actually didn't sick. Have to worry about TNT anymore. Now, uh, if you would all kindly please make your way over here. We can uh, uh, begin the <laughs> Wait. summary executions. What? The, the what? <laughs> the what? Execution? No, 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 no. Come no, on. What? You see, <laughs> the egg needs something, and it's going to get it from each of you. See, in order for the egg to hatch, it needs energy. To hatch? And it gets that energy by people dying. What the hell's here. inside and it? And that's the role that you guys are going to fill. We're going to kill Everyone you one to... by one. Uh, oh. What did you say, Eric? You're an absolute monster. A How monster? You? you know what? I think, Eric, you would be a perfect person. Oh no, Eric! To sacrifice first! No! <laughs> excellent, Eric. excellent. I'm, I really appreciate you guys following the directive and not bringing any weapons. That's very courteous of you. We trusted you, baby! We trusted you! Well, that was your first mistake. What do you what you think we were really going to just stop trying Excellent. to spread the oh, egg's true. influence over true. the server just because a opportunity couple missed. people got opportunity mad at missed. The vines? Like come on. That's been the objective <sighs> all along is to hatch the egg. The egg wants power and it's gonna get it. Alright, stop. I have had enough. I am sick of this foul red stench. I am tired of this endless cycle of egg nonsense. I tried, we tried to give this dreadful egg another chance. Yeah, I think Bad, we have... Why don't we start with Foolish instead? We'll save uh, the monarchy for later. Don't think we've forgotten about you, Aaron. But we'll, we can start with Foolish. You two bad and this is your last chance with YouTube me. You two bad. Oh, nice free your promo. very, very oh, last chance. I am done after this. What are you gonna do? You're weak. You have nothing. Puffy, you were a part of the egg pyre. You could have prevented- And look what you all turned into! I did what I needed to, to make sure that everyone else was protected. Because all you and Bad care about is the egg and yourselves. You're selfish. Puffy, you could have stopped this if you had stayed with the egg pyre, but this is your fault. What? No! Oh. No! <laughs> no! 
Oh. <laughs> One down. And a couple more people to go. Who should we do next? What do you think? Ben, Ooh, stop! Like Wait, stop what? Stop what you're doing right now. Stop. Stop it. Hey, 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 hey. Relax. Relax, what? bad. Quackity! I am I know calm. what you're doing here, but stop right now. Stop right now. Look at what you've done here, bad. This is this is impressive. Thank I'm not you. Gonna lie. This is quite impressive, everything you've done here. You have to stop right now, bad. You have to stop. Stop? This whole egg thing is just getting out of control. You just killed a man. Is that what you wanted to do, bad? Is that <laughs> was that your plan all along? To kill innocent people? This has gone completely out of control. And I'm not gonna have it anymore, bad. Look look what you've done. Just look what you've done. You've trapped all these people, all these innocent people. In what you've disguised as a party, I'm telling you, bad. You wow. are a pawn. To Big moment. Power. You're nobody, bad. You're working for something that, quite frankly, doesn't even care about you. I mean, look at the egg. Look at the egg. Look at what it means. It doesn't mean anything. How about we just stop playing games, bad? How about that? I can't stop Quackity, and you know why I can't stop. You're not like this. Yes, I am. So how about I'm gonna tell you one more time? You and all your buddies here. Drop your weapons and leave and let all these people go. Oh boy. No, you drop your weapons and you prepare. If you wanted to stop us, you should have brought an army with you. <laughs> Guess what, bad? I did. In fact, I brought the next best thing. <gasps> I brought my biggest enemy. All right, Quack, and yours this egg thing. <laughs> right here, right here, Techno. Get back, get back, Hannah, come on. Let's go, get back. Welcome him, That's bad. That's so Welcome funny. Him, bad. <laughs> All right, where's purple, this egg thing? Yeah, yeah, it's purple. It's purple, bad. Techno, you and Quackity are our enemies. Why would you side listen, with him? Listen, bad. I, I didn't want to work with this guy either, but this egg, this egg, it's going too far. It's warping people's minds. It's controlling them. It has no plans on stopping. And this egg, it's the epitome of everything I stand against as an anarchist. And if I don't stop it now, it'll be the end of the world. So yeah, I'm working with Quackity. We still outnumber you. It's four against three. Puffy oh saw an opportunity, a moment of weakness, the very thing she'd waited for since the start of the resistance, and having had enough of the friends she thought she had, she took it. Amphrost, you're dead! Wait, what? 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 Puffy saw! Where did Puffy get away? You, you take it like kindness Stop. and weakness, Amphrost! Oh my god! Uh -oh. Let's go! Let's go! Attack them! Kill them! Attack! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Yes! It's not going to end here, Quackity. You bad. I've always told you. I've told you for so long. This stupid egg thing is just bringing trouble. Nothing but trouble, bad. Let's go! Oh, retreat, Let's guys! Go. Retreat! As the egg pyre retreated into the labyrinth of tunnels surrounding the room, the people stood frozen, shocked at the events they had just witnessed, the murder of their friend. Quackity stood atop the egg. No matter what happened, the egg pyre was reduced to nothing and their crown jewel Intense. now lied in the hands of the resistance. Quackity led the people to the surface, freeing them from the evil grasp of the egg. Wow. Over the next month, the server would attempt to recover from that day. Sam and Quackity sealed off the egg, quarantining it once again. Bat and Ant felt a weight lifting from their shoulders as their color returned to normal and their love for the egg diminished. The resistance went their separate ways, vowing to return the day the egg was released again. And Ooh. the egg remained locked away. A mere memory of a time, a dark time the server never wished to see again. And with peace finally ruling over the land, the egg, it seemed, would have to hatch another day. Fun. Oh boy. Very intense. Very intense.